virtues. The king was said to have been delighted that he'd raised awareness. It's not known how long he will be staying in hospital after he's had his procedure. We knew this would happen. Yeah, the investigation by BBC News has found that more than 60 phone calls were made to the police and no social services in just three years before a nine-year-old boy was and killed by his mother and her partner. Either. Alfie Steele Jennifer died in Dwightwich in Worcestershire in 2021 after suffering abuse, including beatings and being held underwater in the bath. A report by Worcestershire Safeguarding Children's Partnership has highlighted a string of missed opportunities. The partnership's chair, Stephen Eccleston, said he couldn't guarantee that similar cases wouldn't happen in the future. Sadly, we, we just cannot give that reassurance because we are dealing with people who uh, mean harm by children. This was a rare case where you had two individuals who both were intent on harm. However, that doesn't mean that lessons aren't being learned. In the past few minutes, the UN's top court has ruled that Israel must take all measures within its power to prevent acts of genocide in Gaza. The hearing at the International Court of Justice in The Hague is part of a case brought by South Africa accusing Israel of committing genocide against Palestinians. Israel vehemently denies the accusation and is likely to ignore the order by the judges who have no way of enforcing their decision. The Liverpool boss, Jurgen Klopp, has shocked fans by revealing that he'll quit at the end of the season. The Premier League's longest serving manager said he was running out of energy after more than eight years in charge. He's won six trophies with Liverpool, including the Champions League and Premier League. John Gibbons is from the Anfield Rap Podcast. Surprise, there's an understatement. I think everyone's shocked. We knew he wouldn't be here forever, unfortunately, but before we had a, a few more years of him yet, so... Yeah, it's a huge shock, a huge shock, and, you know, a worrying time for Liverpool supporters. Just an actress, The Conservative peer Michelle Moan and her Good husband, Jack Harriman, have had millions of pounds in assets frozen as. or restrained by a court myself. order obtained by the I've Foreign Prosecution Service. The National Crime Agency, Agency is investigating not? allegations I've of fraud and contracts in the personal protective equipment awarded during the pandemic to the company to linked to Mr. Honestly, Brown. You're 80 years old, China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has revealed that a British man has been jailed in the country for spying. Ian Stones was sentenced to five years in prison in 2022, but details of his case have only just been released. His family say he hasn't made a confession and is in poor health. The UK government has a policy of neither confirming nor denying claims relating to intelligence issues. Almost 2,000 driving test examiners across either. England, Scotland and Wales are to go on strike for four days next month. I'm Members of the to Public and Commercial that. Services Union no will walk out between the 8th and 11th so of February and protest against plans for them to no work longer hours that. to help clear That's the backlog good, from then, driving tests. I don't wear eye makeup. I know, in one I've, of the least likely collaborations in showbiz not. history, the American singer and actress Jennifer not Lopez for. is set to produce a Bob the Builder movie. The children's character, who started out on CBBC, is now owned by Mattel, who've had huge success with the Barbie film. And me, Jennifer Lopez. Now 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 me, Jennifer Lopez. Mum. She's not your age. Jennifer Lopez is 2011. 54. And now the plan is for an animated film with a Latino spin. The plot will see Roberto the Builder, voiced by Anthony Ramos, head for Puerto Rico for a huge construction job. This week, Barbie was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. Could JLo and Bob do the same? And the weather. Dry and bright for most this afternoon, but cloud and rain will linger in northwest Scotland. Top temperatures are 9 Celsius in London and Cardiff, 8 in Belfast, and 7 in Edinburgh. You just said you were Jennifer God. Oh, never mind, let's not get into differences. Anyway, the weather doesn't look too bad at the moment, does it? No. And now, global news from the BBC World Service. BBC News with Moira Alderson. The UN's King top Charles court has ordered Israel to take a string of emergency measures in Gaza as part of the never genocide case brought by really South Africa. Want to but the judges stopped short of demanding a ceasefire. Okay, Israel has been trying to do all in its power to stop to the killing of Palestinians doesn't. and enable more aid into the territory. It was also ordered to punish the incitement of genocide. Israel denies the genocide accusations and is thought likely to ignore the orders. A Kenyan court has ruled that plans to send police officers